Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to vlog number two. Um, if you watch my channel at all, you know that uh, this is actually not my second vlog. I've got a lot of vlogs here on my channel. Um, but I haven't systematically gone through some of my major questions and things that I've been asked. So I'm kind of going back through and, and doing a series of vlogs that are kind of like standard vlogs. So if you want to watch the first vlog, which talks about all the drums that I use and stuff, uh, the link is in the description below for that one. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about how I get the audio for my videos. Um, that's probably the second uh, most asked question aside from drums you're playing and stuff like that. So I'm going to dive right in. It's pretty simple. Um, at least the part that I can really explain to you very succinctly is a very simple process of how I get my audio. Um, so I get it one of two ways. So let's look at it. All right. So the first way I get my audio is off of my Aviom. Um, so if you're not familiar with this, it's basically just a personal mixer. Uh, you send um, different signals via Cat5 from the soundboard and you can mix different elements um, individually. So we've got these um, you can mix them out, bass, drums, acoustic guitar, keys. You got all the different, uh, you got up to 16 on this configuration, up to 16 different channels that you want to mix. You can do so. So what I do is out of that, I'm using a Merino Customs um, splitter. So basically from here, um, this cable goes from a quarter inch male to uh, a eighth inch female and an eighth inch male. So again, this is a splitter. So uh, on this end, I plug my headphones in. And then on the other end, I take that and I plug that into an iRig 2. So um, iRig 2. Now, um, a lot of people use, I think, the iRig by itself, and you can go right into your phone. The reason I like to use a splitter is because sometimes I don't use my phone. Sometimes I go into um, another audio uh, recorder or straight into a camera. So what this does is this captures the audio straight from my in-ear mix. So um, with this, there's not a way to take out the click. There's not a way to separate the audio. Um, so for a lot of you guys asking, you know, where I get the audio, where it has click in it, this is coming off of the iRig. So again, I'll have links in the description below to this. I've got a link to this Merino Customs cable, and then I'll have a link to kind of some other replacement cables. So again, pros and cons of doing that. Pros, it's very simple. You just plug and play, and you've got your audio. Cons. You just get one signal, right? I can't go back and mix different elements of the track. I can only mix the one single audio file. Um, so that's not the way that I get most of my audio. Most of my audio comes from our front of house board. So let me take you back there uh, and show you that. All right, so I'm here on our soundboard. We have a Yamaha M7CL, which at this point is an older digital soundboard. Um, so this is not gonna be all technically correct, but long story short, we use two uh, digital like cards, it's called Dante cards, um, that each allow us to capture 16 channels of audio and then send that through a internet cable, through an ethernet cable into a tracking computer. So um, I'm not gonna walk through the routing setup because it's not very useful to you um, unless you have a Yamaha M7CL. Chances are you don't. Um, but the good news is if you have a digital board of any kind, there's like a 99% chance that you can multi-track off of that digital board. So again, what we do, uh, through two Dante cards, I get 32 channels sent from the mixer, from the board into a computer, uh, and a record in Logic. So I got a Logic session with 32 channels, just like a studio session, and then I go home and mix all the audio. So that's really it. Uh, and that's really, I know it's not like an in-depth explanation, but the truth is if you have a digital board, you can look up ways to multi-track, especially like Behringer, X32s, those are super easy to multi-track off of. Um, but you can multi-track into a computer, into the DAW of your choice. I like Logic, a lot of people like Pro Tools. Um, so that's how I get the audio for my videos. Um, now, if you have any questions about that, any other audio questions, um, I'm probably gonna talk about my mix template, how I mix, what I do, plugins that I use, stuff like that um, in another video. But um, kind of the, the short version is uh, that I don't really try to heavily mix my drums. I don't use samples, I don't use any uh, replacement or anything like that because I want it to more just sound like what the drums sound like in the room. I kind of want more of a raw live sound versus a really processed, really digital, just like clicky, you know, punchy, like everything's just triggered sounding. I don't really want that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. If you do that in your videos or other guys, that's great for them. But for me, I kind of want more of just like a, again, more of a natural sound. I want you to hear like, that's what those drums sound like in the room. I don't necessarily want it to sound even like a CD. I want it just to sound like a live performance and just kind of a look into how I play and what my drums sound like. So that's kind of an approach to my mixing. So the truth is I don't really do a ton to the drums. I just mix them enough, use some compression to make them kind of poke out in the mix. Um, so yeah, 
If you got any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, again, this is the second vlog. I'm going to do some other vlogs of other things, like I may do camera gear in one video. Um, but um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you're just now seeing this. I've got over 400 videos um, at this point of drum covers, tutorials, gear reviews, all kinds of stuff. And I've got tons of links in the description um, where you can see everything that I use. But uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell, turn the notifications on so that you uh, get alerted when I drop new content. Also, like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with someone that you think would enjoy uh, the conversation or look into what I do and how I get this audio. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Chain two, three, four. Four, two, three, four.